Hey there. So, it's been a long time since I worked on the Vortex experiments because of health priorities and the end of a six year long collaboration. I hope I can continue the search for Vortex propulsion someday. There are, however, a number of um, effects that I discovered that I did not share yet. So, here is one. Three, two, one, boom. What was that? This is my good old Vortex rig machine. It can be controlled manually or by an amplifier. It makes beautiful rings. A Vortex ring machine will also produce a thrust. When a force accelerates a mass of air in one direction, there will also be an equal force acting in the opposite direction. The goal of this experiment was to see if a split open vortex ring can generate a pulse of lift on a curved surface. Here an animation of the ideal setup with a bended blade. And next the very first experiment with just a straight blade. And indeed, this works. See how cool, how sharp a turn these vortex rings make. When split open, they really want to stick to the surface. Or, well, that's how we see it. Actually, it's the surrounding air pressure that pushes the ring down towards the surface. If you are familiar with my channel, then you probably know about the Kuanda effect. But this was different. There is no constant flow. And if you don't split open the vortex ring, it will not follow the curved surface. Everything looks better in slow motion. So here's the slow-mo close-up setup. What can we now see that we couldn't see before? Here's that short video again. But now in slow motion. From the right, a vortex ring approaches a curved blade. The vortex ring is being cut open by the blade. Ah, uh, that went too fast. Here once more in super slow motion. So from the right, a vortex ring approaches the curved blade. This blade has a sharp edge. The vortex ring is being cut open by the blade and the core of the vortex, which is of lower pressure, attaches to the surface. The vortex travels on and quickly down the curved surface. The gas of the vortex accelerates down and thus there is a short pulse of lift up. All this action does break down the vortex. For this effect to occur, the vortex ring needs to hit the blade at this one exact height. When it enters too high, one of two things can happen. Either the vortex ring just flies over the blade with no effect, or it will skid the blade and create a little puff down. Here are some examples of vortex rings that came in too high. And next a large number of good ones. See how these vortex rings hit the blade just right, get cut open and accelerate down. And as we said before, this will cause a pulse of lift up.
And yeah, I've not seen this effect anywhere before. So let me call this the Nyhaus Vortex Ring Lift Effect. This experiment has been done in June 2015. I have a better camera now and better lights for next time. Okay, enjoy the video.